Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick little palette cleanser video for you. Um, you know, sometimes we don't wanna make a four hour long bag. Sometimes we just wanna use up some scraps and whip up tons of little things. Or if you have like a last minute gift that you need, this is going to be a good project for that. This is also a great skill builder if you need to practice sewing straight lines. I know a lot of people get a little nervous about sewing like straight lines and contrast threads. Also, if you have some scraps that you wanna use up, this is great for that. Um, this is a great little project for vending to fill up your vending table. You can sell these like eight to $12, depending on your area. Um, you can do a uh, one color or an accent color. So it's a lot of different options for you to do. It's also a great option if you're new to sewing with cork and you don't want to like use a whole bunch of it on a big project. You can get your sea legs under you by sewing one of these guys and practicing and sewing with cork. So nothing super fancy, nothing wildly outrageous, but I had to whip up a key fob wristlet for a customer that matched a bag. I'll show you at the end of the video the bag that it matches, but you can get a good idea. So I thought that I would just share this quick project with you. Um, I go over a couple, or I go over the two options as far as if you wanna use accent or if you want to just do all one color. Um, you can also do a four stitch line like this. You could just do two stitch lines. You can do one inch hardware, one and a half inch hardware. I got the hardware from Waywack in Antique Brass, obviously, as I always use. My only thing that I didn't cover in the actual video is if you're using an accent cork, so this color pop on top, what I would suggest doing is doing Mod Podge or base coat on both long raw edges so that when this key fob is being used and it's going in and out of bags that it's not going to fray and cause little hairs to come off. So I think that's really it. There's no, this is just like a, an oral pattern. So you can do a long one like I do them. So that's a 14 inch cut or you can even do little short guys i've seen them small maybe like three inches long so that would be like six inches and those are cute if you don't want um it taking up all the room in your bag did i already say that i can't remember it's like the third intro i filmed so without further ado enjoy the video To get started on our key fob, we're gonna need our backing cork and then our color pop cork. And I am using hardware that is one inch wide. So I need my key fob to be one inch wide so that it fills up the entirety of this hardware here. So I've cut one piece, you can cut it the length that you prefer. I like mine to be 14 inches long. And then you cut the, the backing piece to be two inches wide. And then the color pop piece same height or length rather by 0.75 inches. So by three quarter inches wide. And this comes together super quick. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is flip over our backing piece and you wanna draw a line directly down the center. This is akin to making straps and everything similar for our bags. So I'm going to take a piece of double stick tape and I put it right down the center, right along that line that I drew. And then now what I'm gonna do is just fold my cork in to meet up on that midline there, down the entire length of the key fob. Okay, so we've got one side, now we need to flip and do this side. Okay, now that this is done, you have two options. If you want to have a strap that has four stitch lines on the inside, so if you imagine this is how the strap is going to be at the end. So if you want there to be four stitch lines on the inside here, then what you need to do is at this point, you need to go and stitch down both sides of your center. So you would stitch along both of those long edges that you just taped into the middle. Otherwise, what you would do is from here, you're gonna tape this accent piece right on top, covering up that seam that you just created and 
clip glue or double stick tape this into place. And then what you would do is just sew around the long edges of your accent color, about an eighth of an inch from both sides. I wanna have four stitch lines and I'm gonna be using, uh, what's the word when it's not coordinating, it's alternate, I, I want the, gosh, my words, you know. I want to have contrasting thread. So I am going to, so I am actually going to do the four stitch lines. So I am gonna use contrasting thread and go stitch down my center line and then move forward. All right, I'm using a size 18 needle, uh, tech 70 thread and a size four stitch length. Now we have our thread lines right down the center, stitch lines rather. And so on this side where the seam is, I'm gonna apply another piece of double stick tape right down the center, right on top of the stitches that we just did. Now we take our contrasting color or accent color and you're gonna lay it right on top, centering. I'm just gonna eyeball it, but if you need to, you can measure it, but you wanna center it down the entire length of the strap. And that's what it looks like. This is fun with the sunflower face right there. So now I'm gonna stitch 1 8 inch around the entirety of that top color. right off that guy. This little piece down here is gonna be within the hardware, so I'm not concerned with that. So to finish this bad boy off, what I like to do is just burn my threads and any loose little furries going on here. Tighten everything up. And I like to put a piece of double stick tape here just so that everything stays put whenever we're trying to use the pliers to close the hardware. So I'm just gonna apply just a touch of tape right here along this bottom edge. if I can get it to peel. Now I'm just going to be sure to line these up nicely because if it's, if this isn't lined up nicely, then it's not gonna lay in your hardware correctly. Another thing to do would be to add a couple of clips to also hold it in place, especially if you don't have double stick tape, you can just clip it down here like so. And then now about the pliers. So I put tape on the edge of my pliers because they're metal under there. And I found that the metal can scratch the finish on my hardware. It's been so long that I've made one of these and used these pliers that the tape could use some love. So this is just washi tape. You can use like, um, I don't know. I prefer washi tape just because it has a nice smooth satin finish and it's grippy without being sticky, if that makes sense. So I just apply tape just like that around the edge of the metal. 
Now, if you want to, you can add some glue in here to hold it together. But what I like to do is kind of slide it in. So if the teeth, so you can see on the hardware, it has these cutouts. And now whenever you clamp the hardware, those little teeth in there are what's going to hold onto your key fob. So you want to slide them in under the teeth. So I don't know how much of this you're getting, but you want to slide them in on the flat edge under the teeth. Make sure that it's centered within your hardware. And then you take your pliers, or if you want to, you can use your hand for this to get it started. Or you take your pliers and you start to clamp these two pieces together. You want to make sure that you have a nice good clamp but you don't want to put too too much pressure because you can dent the hardware i put a little micro dent in right there but I'm, i think it's fine so now you can take your clips off and then simple as that we have a completed key fob howdy we made it to the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed that cute or this cute little project be sure to give me the thumbs up like subscribe all that jazz and here is the bag that i made it to match you gotta have a matching key fob this is the white taste steel if you haven't seen it, it's on my website i have lots of videos and sew alongs here on my channel but look i did the zipper the recessed zipper on this one and i added the bottom so there's two videos on the channel that cover that if you're interested in seeing that. Oh yeah, and I used my new hardware. If you're interested in checking that out, the link will be in the description box. And while you're on my website checking out the hardware, stop by the merch section and check that out as well. I will see y'all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.